reason we are here with Rowan is when we were looking for a family dog, I went on Facebook and started looking at all the rescue um, societies and groups in uh, UAE. And I found the Arabian Saluki Center of Dubai. In the midst of looking at this, I found a story about a dog, um, and the dog had been attacked, uh, was found in the desert, uh, basically on its deathbed. And uh, my heart was like, oh my goodness, this is so sad. Rowan had, um, the dog was delivered to Rowan Center, and they took it to the vet, and for a month, they were taking care of Bella, and I was watching this story unfold for a month. Bella got better, she recovered, she put on some weight, um, she still got bite marks all over her and all the injuries, but, um, you know, she was doing a lot better, and there was a post saying, we are looking for a family to adopt Bella. Now, I was like, I want to adopt her, but my husband was not sure because she was a rescue dog. And of course, we have two little children. So there's a big fear of rescue dogs uh, not being able to handle children, uh, to not being able to adapt to the new family, the new home. So I reached out to Rowan and I said, look, how is Bella? She's like, Bella's perfect with children. Um, and so we decided to foster her for two weeks to try her out in our family. Um, and that went really well and now we have Bella and so now we're sharing the story and why Rowan does what she does and is a, a godsend to the community of Arabian Saluki. So Rowan, how did you get into, what made you start uh, being a rescuer? Well I was born in Alain, uh, that was in the late 70s and in these days we were having the stray dogs um, playing in the neighborhood with us and they were related to the farming areas and the local families and sometimes they come as a stray dog because they're dumped there and uh, the next day we don't find them so they were calling the relative uh, departments and they were disappeared and it was breaking our heart because they were the most amazing dogs that they can be pet for any home but where i came from my culture doesn't allow me to have dogs licking for instance like now because it's considered as dirty dog and they're not allowed to be inside homes. Why is that? Why aren't they allowed to be inside homes in your culture? But they can't pray where the dog is in. You so know, so and, and why can't they? Is there somewhere that says this? No, it's no. more about... Okay, you know, so it doesn't like say it. It's no, a cultural not really, thing. Yes. Okay. Especially the Salukis, you can... It's mentioned in one of the ayah in Quran that you can eat whatever hunted from by their mouth, from so their mouth, direct. You can eat it, so it's not. So in the Quran, yes, it does say there. that yes. salukis yes. are uh, clean yes. and you can eat from the hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I got a saluki after I got married and had my own home. Okay. <laughs> and my parents were like, oh, "Are you going to have a room outside?" And I was like, "No, it's my house, and you're welcome to come, but there will be a." a room where you can pray and the dogs will not reach, you know, yeah. so I respect the culture and what they believe. But at the same time, these are my dogs and they fell in love with them later on. Yeah. And now they want to come and see them all the time. And uh, it's just about the dogs, Amazing. you know, like, yes, everything has changed. So they changed as well. Yes, and they started reading more and they found out that dogs are OK inside the house. Beautiful. Well, of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, will you yeah. take care of this? Dog? Yes. So you got your first Saluki when you got married. I got my first Saluki when I got married, and it was gifted by a local uh, racing go uh, uh, guy, and the dog died the next day. Oh my goodness. So uh, what basically happened, they don't believe in vaccination, because okay. they, some of the racing people are uh, guys here, they think if they vaccine the dog, this will delay the speed. Oh, or this will decrease the speed of the racing okay. and this is not true vaccines have nothing to it do doesn't, with speed. It doesn't, you just need to give the dog few, let's say a couple of days maximum to and the recover. dog will, will get the yeah. same and even better yeah. and secured. So I got the puppy and we picked the puppy that we want and the next day he had to, he, he died. Gosh. And uh, this is when I started doing the education and speak to guys and teaching telling them, them, teaching them the about importance the importance of vaccination and that I was willing to even vaccine by myself, come and do it and bring the, you oh know, wow. pay for it and everything. But it will take time, but we'll get there. Yes, you know? uh, of course. 
Um, it, you know, so it is, people do watch and listen, and there is a community, which is yes. amazing to see. Yes, but, yeah. and they can see that your heart is in it, you yeah. know, so you, it's, it's... Well, you've yeah. adopted three dogs now. Yes, so. I do, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I, ad I adopted the, the puppy who no one wanted, and I adopted the very sick dog. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about yeah? Wow. Sarab uh, came in Ramadan, um, some guy, a cleaning boy, uh, called me in Ramadan and he said, I have this dog and he has to leave. I can't keep him in my room. I don't know what to do. Oh. And I was like, okay, I'll foster him because he's a puppy and I'll see what's going on. But his belly, belly was very big and I realized, he said, I dewormed him, no problem. Yeah, and it took me three months and a half deworming and working on him and he was so sick that we thought we'd lose him. Oh my gosh. But the first time that we got him in the house, uh, he came in and Sean looked at his eyes, He's so <laughs> my beautiful. husband, and he yeah. was like, we can get rid of these puppies, you know, yeah. with these eyes, and he took him. He Sarab said, we're adopting him. You have dog. Samra, I'm having Sarab. Oh, wow, <laughs> so this like, is your dog yes. and that's his dog. I got it, okay. Yeah. And who's the third dog? <laughs> so, this is Sean. You have the... Samra. The one dumped. Yep. Okay, and you have the, the sick, sick one. one. Which is now and so healthy and beautiful and big, and he's such and a... And you have the timid one here. Yes that people might misunderstand that he might be aggressive and you know he's yeah. not you know because he's he so howls because he doesn't know or growl at people because yeah. he's not sure yeah and secure uh, so Taj is um, you try to give him with a foster yes we we sent him on adoption trial yep and it, it didn't work out he he wasn't sure with kids yeah you know and uh, the other dog, uh, they, they didn't agree very well, so uh, my friend brought him back again and the t the, she thought that she, it's her mistake, the poor th lady. Oh no, it's just... And he came in and sat under her foot and, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and she was like, he loves me. I was like, yeah, yeah, but he wasn't sure there, so it's all right. How old is he around? He is uh, around five years old now, so it's kind of yeah, not it's easy. Ingrained. Yeah, it's we need, we need we needed a behaviorist for him, and thank God I have a friend who helped me out. Amazing. Yes, and look at him. Yeah, you know, he's been, and with yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Alexander's been he used very to, good. He used to sit on the corner shaking yeah. and shivering and not sure, and you remember? Yeah. So, uh, so, when, well, so three years and three dogs. Yeah. And then how many, just to clarify, how many dogs are you rescuing a year? Like... This year we rescued 77 dogs. We rehomed 77 dogs. Re and we rescued... A lot, like over 120, yeah. let's say. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, and it's a, and it's a, we we really needed everyone's support, but yeah. it's a hard work. <laughs> it's it not is easy. Very hard work. Yeah. And I watch and I listen and I, I try to support where I can. But uh, and we need more people, and th that's why we want to change the perception. Um, I think this is the perception we need to change all dogs. Yes, there are some dogs that, are, as you said, yeah. it wasn't right for the family. Yeah. However, what you're teaching your family by adopting a rescue dog, the values, empathy, you know, you want your children to be empathetic to animals. Um, and it's very easy to go to a pet shop and buy a, a dog, a puppy, but that's just, you know, you're not really teaching much more than, oh, you want something, you get it. But when you listen to a story of a rescue dog and you bring that in your home and you teach your children every day, Bella was attacked by the dogs. Bella had no home, Bella nearly died. Bella is now our dog, she's our daughter, our baby. Our children grow up empathetic and when they're older, they're gonna do the same. They're gonna become the Rowans and we need them because there are hundreds of dogs, a, you know, just that she rescues and just in this region, let alone the rest of the world. So we need more children growing up empathetic to animals and their needs. So um, I think that is what we're trying to change here to show you that it is safe and they are beautiful. Um, and you, f you find a rescuer that does the right behavior, behavior yes. the training. Yes. Um, and we want to support these types of rescuers because they're not just going to dump the dog on you and your family. They will take it away if it's not right we for test, your family. We test them as well. We yeah. test them with cats. We test them with kids. We yeah. give them all the time. We don't send any dog without making sure that he's been through a rehab. Yes. Let's say a period it. if he needs it. Yeah. 
and we picked the right families for yeah. the right dog. Like I got you an easy dog yeah. that I know she'll fit in because you're a first time yeah. rest, uh, adopter for Saluki. Exactly. You know, I so, did not know about Saluki. And I told you, yeah. <laughs> take all the time. Yeah. The preparation time was two two weeks. Yeah. I gave you a month. Yeah, you know, yeah. and <laughs> and just yeah. we were a bit yeah. afraid, especially because we have a, Alexander was one. So you know, pulling the tail. He would pull, and of course we stop it as soon as we could. Yeah. But still, like I was, she was just like, she and was, yeah. she was wonderful. Thank God, she was gentle. Yeah, she's yeah, gentle, yeah. and we, you know, we and have lovely kids. And yeah, <laughs> thank, thankfully, my, but we're constantly teaching our children. We were constantly around our children with Bella. You know, it, it took us two or three months before she really was part of the yeah. family. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think that is the main story. Now, you, you rescue around a hundred. Uh, more than a hundred dogs a year. Now, where do they go then? Because this is an interesting story. Because you think you would. We have friends all over the world. Yeah. Which is lovely to kind of travel and visit them and see the dogs there. That yeah. makes me very excited and proud that I have friends in America. Yeah. R uh, Moscow. Yeah. Russia. A lot of Russians yes. love these dogs, we right? We do. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And we send a lot of like very bad cases to a friend of us in Moscow and she's really a very good support amazing and we send them to America to the Greyhounds Friends for Life group okay. uh, in uh, Northern California and another group in Southern Cal uh, California That's so nice to yes. hear from yes. the UAE these dogs yes. are going to, to America they to go Russia. to San Francisco and they go to Los Angeles and the whole I think it's in England and France as we well. send them to England France Spain. Uh, Croatia uh, Spain Portugal wow. and you name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and do you get to go visit? I will uh, in uh, April. Okay. I'll go to California. Amazing. I'm taking three dogs with me. Wow. I couldn't find travel buddy. This is another problem okay. <laughs> that we face all the time. So how many dogs um, can you take on an airplane? We used to have Emirates Airline that we could send as much as we can, but we need travel buddies. You need travel buddies. Okay, so one I dog I couldn't per find travel buddies, so I decided to book a ticket and go by myself. Okay. So that's but they're letting you take three dogs? Three dogs only. I wish they can add more, you <laughs> okay. know, like... And you're yeah. going to San Francisco, you said? I'm going to San Francisco. I'm sending two to Northern California. Okay, amazing. And I'm taking... And one group from Southern California will drive to the north to take to their other up. one. Yeah. But what are some other, like stories of like you know you found a dog and what you've had to do like explain the we amount of how uh, like the vets we have involved. few cases that we once found a dog <coughs> in a, uh, the desert and uh, the dog was just a skeleton skin and bones that's yeah. all and uh, I rescued him the, he, he came to my house at 12 a.m. Uh, on the 28th of December last year and the poor thing couldn't even stand yeah. And um, I took him to the vet the next day and he rejected touching the dog. He said, he barely can walk, get oh him back gosh. and I don't want to have any risk that he might die. So he left me alone with the dog and I had to deworm the, the dog. Did. Yes, because he was not sure that I might get upset if the dog is dead or something. So I took the dog back. I just, he I'm said, just, just so feed him. He said, just feed him, make sure he's dewormed and don't do anything now. And I was like, yep, I need to know if, but we couldn't even suck blood from him. He didn't, even the ticks on him were dry, you know, like oh that's how bad he was. So his name is Baroud and everyone knows Baroud on the, in, on the Facebook yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, community, the Saluki community. So we kept him, we kept Baroud for three months and now he's in Italy. Enjoying no his life. <laughs> Where is he in Italy? <laughs> he is in uh, Parma. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> I don't know, this is... <laughs> see, see. Amazing. So, yeah. That your so, patience yes. and your, like, the well, virtues... Believe me, we were, like, the moment I saw him eating, I was crying, you know, yeah. like, I was... I couldn't believe that he was standing, started walking again, and the whole yeah, yeah. steps of his improvement was amazing. I know, I've been, yeah. I've been to her Roman's house where she's had another five dogs in here. Yes. And I mean, with bandages, with you know the head, yes. like it has been. And we come because we visit with Bella because the dogs all love each other to play. But you know, I'm like, she's always welcoming. Yes. Um, and these are values you learn in, yeah. Yeah. sorry, in Islam and in Christianity yes. in all faiths, to take care of <laughs> all creatures, um, and and, I'm be merciful. and be merciful. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not saying we can't all do it. We understand. But when there are people that do it. You know, they need help and they need support. Um, do you remember the last case we had? The two puppies. The on two puppies with the their legs. Spence, yes. Yeah. Oh and gosh. They had the uh, deficiency, vitamin D yeah, deficiency. We lost 
two one, before uh, that. Yeah, yeah. And when I came back again, I had to go to the best vet. And thank God they were helping me very well. And yeah. they give a good discount. And I had a lot of support from the Saluki lovers. Uh, but I didn't give up on them. Every other uh, grou uh, groups and the vets, vets were telling me to put them to sleep. But the, le the legs, everything. They were not the legs. They were having <coughs> even the... Um, the seizures and the fevers and the whole thing. And we found out that it's a vitamin D dependent ricket. It's because of the inbreeding. The inbreeding, exactly. Okay, so it was the mother with her brother. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so this is just the lack of, let's say, edu education. education. And the family believed that it's haram, okay, yeah. or yeah. to take their right of being married in life, yeah. you know, the animals. And it took time yeah. Uh, to... Yeah. So I took the dogs and the puppies. One of them died and two lived. Yeah, and they went to Russia? They went to Moscow they went and to they're Moscow, doing great yeah. now. They're, <laughs> they're, they're doing Moscow. great. They went together, yes. They're doing amazing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're still on the splints and they're still on vitamin, uh, sorry, calcium and multivitamins, but they're doing great. And the, yes. the, the, the yes. new carrot and is the, taking over. The vets didn't give up. And, but it was a very interesting, uh, interesting yeah. experiment for the whole orthopedic yeah. uh, forum in America. Oh, wow. So it's an experiment that they you were need learning to statistics that they need to know how long it will take the dog to Get better. keep them on calcium and what's the measurements and what's the blood they've test. Never had a case no, they never had it before. Yeah. And they were really happy yeah. with that I didn't give up and the doctor didn't give up. Go, Bear, go, go, catch, go, go. <laughs> I always find it interesting. Alexander and Bella have like a discussion. I think they've grown up together. So they always like work it out. They're always taking care of each other. It's very sweet. Um, it's nice when they grow up together.